So I wanted to do a quick video about my Mystery Cordagera Hybrid, which you can see right here. So um, this just has the tag, uh, Encyclia Cordagera Hybrid. And um, it was a freebie, so I don't know where it's from. See, it has no like uh, selling name on it, like, like a vendor anything. So it looks like this. Um, and I posted it on the American Orchid Society um, Facebook page and I said, hey, does anybody have any thoughts um, as to what do you think this is crossed with? So uh, a few people thought it was crossed with Alada. So I have both a Cordigera and an Alada um, in bloom right now. I'll just wedge over here. And we'll just compare the flowers and think about it. Now I have the rosia form of Cordigera and it only has one flower left on it. So this is um, my Cordigera. You can see it right here trying to get it in focus instead of the flower clip. It's not really cooperating now, is it? So, um, there we go. So now we have Cordigera, and then we have my um, little hybrid. And if we can get the two of them close together, we can look at them sort of side by side. That's getting caught. It's very hard. I'm holding the flower in my left hand and holding my phone in my right. So here is um, the two of them together. So you can kind of see the Cordigera in it. Um, there's also sort of a more regular not red form. And then right next to my Cordigera, right here, growing a giant bush, is my Encyclia alata. So here are the alata flowers. And let's see if I can focus on them so we can get a good view. A little difficult. Flowers are small. So it's not. Trying to focus with my phone here. So that is um, basically a lot of close up. And now we'll see if I can get um, my hybrid up here so you can compare them side by side. So, ah, not the easiest because. Um, so here we go. So you can see that the flowers on this hybrid are much bigger, but it does have that sort of brown white patterning that uh, goes along with um, a lot of. So maybe, I don't know, but you can also see if you look that way. So there's my Cordigera over there on the right. And so you can see that this flower is sort of between um, a lot of and Cordigera and that um, it does possibly have some of both parents. Of course, it's very hard to know um, exactly what the parentage of this is because um, it's not here, and there are many kinds of encyclia out there. But um, having made this comparison, do you think that uh, the people who responded on Facebook are correct? This is Cordigera crossed to Alada, or do you think that they're wrong? So there we go, a comparison since I had um, both potential parents in bloom and uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. Oh, I wanted to add a quick look at the pseudobulbs. So here's the hybrid, here's its pseudobulbs. And then um, this is my Cordigera. So the bulbs are very round. Um, they're a little dehydrated because I had it blooming inside and um, it wasn't really getting quite enough water. Um, but you know, if they're fully hydrated, they're nice and round. So I don't know if you can see the two of them together, right? So this is not quite as round as uh, the Cordigera. And then right here are the pseudobulbs for my Encyclia Lata. So here we go. You can see the um, pseudobulbs for the hybrid on the left and the 
uh, Mine's sickly a lot of on the right.